Hi, my name is Marie Orlin. I am a second year EDD student. I work at Colorado Mountain College as an adjunct faculty person. I'm interested in taking this class because I want to affect, have a hand in, help change disabilities policies. I'm looking at the DRP, the Doctoral Research Project, and thinking that I can use this class, the information, how to look at policy, evaluate, and make changes, um, create, how to create policies that will affect uh, students with disabilities. I love the idea of the uh, title, Policy Paradox and the Art of Political Decision Making. Paradoxes have always been intriguing, how one thing is but is not another. For example, George Orwell's, all animals are equal, but some animals are e more equal than others. Tara Yasso in the Whose Culture Has Capital, a critical race theory discussion of community culture wealth, talks about binaries, this or that. By offering a two-dimensional discourse, the black why binary limits understandings of the multiple ways in which African Americans, Native Americans, Asian Pacific Islanders, Chicanas, Chicanos, and Latinas, Latinos continue to experience, respond to, and resist racism and other forms of oppression. So what this means to me is taking up the idea that Jung talks about you have policy rhetoric and practiced reality. Winners and losers, inequality and privilege, resistance to and engagement in. Thinking about paradoxes got me to thinking about wicked problems and what wicked problems are. I like the definition in a post on jamiebillingham.com. And Jamie talks about three different kinds of problems, puzzles, dilemmas, and wicked problems. Here, wicked problems are defined as something that is so complex that even in order to understand the problem well enough to frame the question, you need to solve the problem. But in solving that problem, you create more problems. Wicked problems don't have any clear cause and effect relationship, so it's impossible to find clear solutions. Wicked problems may be even further complicated by disparate views and values. These are problems that really never get solved. Rather, we run up time or dollars, chase our tails, or just give up. Looking at the last part of the video prompt, what is artful about critical policy analysis? I think artful is how we solve the problems, how we take all the different pieces and parts and put them together to provide the best solution. 